fuck are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1998 movie Phantasm IV Oblivion. So, in this movie, uh, Mike is traveling across dimensions and time, fleeing from the tall man, and at the same time he's also trying to find the origins of the tall man and uh, find out what really happened the night that his brother died. And, uh, Randy, I mean... Randy. Reggie is uh, is having to still battle the spears and uh, undead demons and stuff that they've had to face off in the first or in the last couple movies and everything he's trying to find Mike and everything to help him stop the the tall man before he completes the transformation of what he's trying to do with Mike. Uh, but this is a, a pretty good movie. Um, I don't think it's quite as good as the first three movies, but it, it's still a really uh, good entry in this franchise. And I, so far, I think this is one of the most consistent franchises where each movie is at least really good and everything. That they are all in really great quality, and I think this one's uh, still really good and everything. And it, it's a, a good. And for being the fourth movie in the franchise, it's really good, um, and everything. It, it does have a lot of flashbacks and stuff, and they use a lot of unused footage from the first movie and stuff. And I, I know people, there are a lot of people that kind of found that distracting and annoying. Personally, I, I didn't mind it so much. I actually thought it was really cool how they were able to take scenes from back then and restore them and put them into this movie and have it flow so well and everything into the story and so it didn't really bother me and stuff getting to see some of that and I love that we get to see some of the uh, background and stuff for the tall man and kind of see where he started from and everything I love that about this movie I thought that was awesome and it's just a really really fun movie it doesn't quite have the the campiness and stuff that three had which I really enjoyed that in the third one that the campiness and the some of the humor and stuff and this this still does have some funny moments and stuff but it it's more on par with the tone of the first two movies which is fine too because I love those movies as well so it's really a great uh, a really good entertaining movie and everything the, the cinematography and stuff in here is really good especially like the scenes when they're filming in the desert and stuff it just has really great cinematography looks really awesome and everything and uh, beautiful shots of the desert or I think it was filmed in the the Mojave Desert I think I, I can't remember um, but it it looks really good and everything and I know this movie is one of the lowest budgets in the franchise, I, I don't know if it's quite as low as the first one, but it was lower than two and three for sure, and everything. So they they were really restricted on what they could use and stuff for this movie. But I, I think it worked out really well. And I love like the little flashback set during the Civil War. I thought that was really cool and everything, and getting to see more of where the tall man came from and how he got his start was really cool and everything. It, but I also love, like, even though we do get a little bit of his origin here, there's still a lot of mystery to the character that hasn't been solved yet and everything. So I love that. I don't know if 5 will wrap everything up well or not. I'm hoping it does, but uh, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was a really fun movie and everything. But it there was something about it that was missing a little bit. I don't know what it is. It just wasn't quite as good as the first three, but... Um, I don't really know what it is that it just something felt a little bit off like something was missing but it, it didn't really bother me I, I think it's a fun movie it's it's better than a lot of people say it is and everything from what I understand anyway um, but it, it's entertaining and it, it I love how like the continuity in this franchise is so on point like that they do a really great job keeping the continuity going in here 
and everything. So that, that that's a big plus for this franchise and everything. Um, and the score in this one is still pretty good. It's not quite as good as it was in in the previous one, but it's still pretty good. And like the makeup effects and stuff on the dwarves and other creatures and stuff were pretty good and everything although you could tell they had a smaller budget on some of the dwarves and stuff like they, they kind of felt a little bit off too but uh, but yeah uh, this is a, a fun movie and uh, I'd say I'd give it a, a, a 7.5 out of 10 I'm not gonna go quite an 8 because it's not quite as good as the first three but still a really solid entry and it's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the the if you're a fan of this franchise it's definitely worth at least watching once and everything it's uh, really entertaining it has some, some parts that are kind of confusing but all these movies do and everything that's part of what I like about these movies is sometimes I don't know what is really going on and stuff in here in these movies but it, that's part of what makes them so so unique and entertaining but um, anyway let me know in the comments what you think of Phantasm 4 Oblivion and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody